Welcome to Quick Tape Movie Review. Here's a quick review of Salem's Lot, starring Louis Pullman, Pilu Aspek, Alfre Woodard, and directed by Gary Doberman. Watch this review until the end to find out if this movie would appeal to you. Salem's Lot, author Ben Mears returns to his childhood home in the small town of Jerusalem's Lot, hoping to find inspiration for his next novel. However, he soon discovers that the residents of his hometown are mysteriously turning into blood-sucking vampires, as the sinister presence of Richard Straker, Pilu Aspek and the Nosferatu like Kurt Barlow, Alexander Ward, begins to take over, Ben must rally the remaining townspeople to combat the rising vampire threat. Salem's Lot is a fast-paced and visually striking adaptation of Stephen King's classic vampire novel. Director Gary Doberman wastes no time setting the stage, plunging the audience quickly into the vampire chaos that consumes the small New England town. The film's rapid pacing keeps the action moving and avoids unnecessary exposition, making it a thrilling watch for fans of vampire horror. The film excels in creating an ominous atmosphere, with cinematographer Michael Burgess capturing the essence of a small, decaying New England town. The use of shadows, mist, and gothic visuals enhances the horror, wrapping the viewer in a sinister, foreboding world. Burgess's cinematography, combined with the eerie town setting, gives Salem's Lot a moody, classic horror feel, perfect for a vampire movie. Salem's Lot pays homage to traditional vampire lore, incorporating the expected crosses, holy water, and stakes, but adds a modern flair, with glowing crosses and energetic, visually captivating action sequences. The drive-in theater showdown and Mark's encounters with vampires are standout moments that keep viewers on edge, providing thrilling set pieces that feel both exciting and fresh. Pilu Asbach's portrayal of Richard Straker is a standout performance, bringing a creepy, sinister edge to the character. Meanwhile, Alexander Ward's Kurt Barlow, with his Nosferatu-like presence, is a memorable villain, making for a terrifying antagonist that haunts the film from the shadows. Even with a condensed runtime, characters like Dr. Cody, Alfre Woodard, and Mark Petrie, Jordan Preston Carter are well-developed and engaging, offering relatable figures to root for as the vampire threat escalates. However, the film's fast pacing comes at a cost. While the action-packed narrative keeps the viewer engaged, it also sacrifices some emotional depth. The film doesn't spend enough time exploring the grief or internal struggles of the characters, which could have added more emotional weight to the horror. A deeper dive into Ben's personal journey, for instance, would have made the stakes, no pun intended, feel higher, giving the story more resonance beyond the vampire mayhem. Overall, Salem's Lot delivers an entertaining, visually rich vampire tale that's sure to please horror fans. While it could benefit from deeper character development, the fast-paced storytelling, chilling atmosphere, and memorable performances make this adaptation a worthwhile addition to the vampire genre. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick take reviews and recommendations. Peace to all.